So uh, my name is Jana and I'm a co-founder of Anytime and I'm really excited to share our story of building a, um, what I call a post-cloud uh, super app. And uh, in this talk, I first will talk about what post-cloud uh, social world means, why it is important, uh, and then show, uh, talk about the stack of protocols that make post-cloud social uh, possible. And then I hope to demo uh, any, any type in, uh, in real time, which sometimes is tricky. <laughs> I mean, all uh, lifetime, uh, real life uh, demos. So, um, <clears throat> uh, I would like to start actually by answering the question why. Why I am building any type and the protocols that enable it. Uh, I was born in the USSR uh, behind the Iron Curtain, and then I lived uh, in the 90s uh, in Russia, and you can think of this period as a period without state. And then I lived in Putin's Russia. Uh, and I'm also an avid reader, and um, based on the hundreds of books uh, that I've read, I can only conclude that the three states that I personally inhabited are not such bad variations of real hell most of humanity experienced most of the time. So if I ever learned something from uh, reading all of these books is that I need to fight for my freedom while I can. So from 2002, I was uh, researching the transfer of democracy, the role of trust, uh, how institutions are built, uh, and overall governance uh, of large human uh, networks. I was overseeing elections, uh, and I participated in protest movements uh, in Russia 12 years ago. But when I realized uh, that the social media that is based on cloud technologies will always be controlled uh, by the state, I actually lost hope. I thought there is nothing I can do because without an independent communication channel, uh, it's impossible. So in 2017, uh, my co-founder got excited about distributed ledger technologies. And uh, I thought, wow, uh, now we can have a registry that no single party controls. Uh, that's something new and revolutionary. Uh, but blockchains cannot be used for information sharing and communication. They're slow and expensive, even with roll-ups, and for a good reason. And attaching blockchain technology to cloud would not solve the problem we wanted uh, to be solved. The cloud was our enemy, not just the registry or central registry and the power uh, that comes from it. For public data, there was a good solution, IPFS, but what we were looking for was encrypted and dynamic uh, content. And we started to think of a, what we now call a post-cloud social world, uh, which we think as a world where uh, digital freedoms are, uncondition are cryptographically unconditional to all. And by this, I mean the freedom of thought with privacy of thought, the freedom to connect directly uh, to other people, and the freedom to, con uh, to create and govern uh, our digital creations. And for this, we created uh, the Any Stack. And it combines, uh, I would say, local first uh, and blockchain architecture with uh, details as it's end-to-end -end encrypted uh, with creator-controlled keys. So we have full ownership and full privacy of, of everything that the person creates. And it's collaborative and supporting high-density social interactions because it's a social world we want to build. Uh, and it has cryptographic signatures of who created, who contributed what. And finally, uh, it works with local data and local sync so that everything would work offline and would sync uh, in local networks for uh, maximal autonomy of uh, all users or all creators uh, from autonomy from the network. We think that the, uh, the, th the stack is focused on uh, private and encrypted uh, social networks. Uh, you can think of uh, like decentralized uh, versions of Discord or WeChat or Notion or Roam or Slack or anything uh, in between. So how does it work? So the native format uh, of uh, any stack is called sovereign social space. And it consists uh, of two parts. One part is a Encrypt is a list of encrypted direct acyclic graphs, and uh, another part are on-chain uh, access rights. Uh, the direct acyclic graph uh, 
uh, can actually look very differently. It can look like uh, docs and proposals or articles. It can also look like chats and discussions, or it can look like collections, or you can think of me uh, like boards or other ideas. This is everything, uh, every such use cases can be a direct acyclic graph. This part is uh, uh, this part of the architecture uh, is uh, for uh, is very flexible, but at the same time there is this part of access rights. And for private uh, for private spaces, we don't need any on-chain uh, mechanics because this can be just uh, done uh, based uh, on pure cryptography. And for one-to-one -one spaces, we can also make it uh, direct. But for access rights for groups, uh, if you try to make access rights in a pure peer-to-peer -peer way, it's uh, it's kind of tricky. A lot of edge cases appear, especially in local first environment. If we have a group of 10 and I kicked something, someone out, that person kicked me out and I was offline, that person was on, uh, online, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's tricky, and uh, not to reinvent blockchain, we use the on-chain access rights uh, for that part. So uh, a space has uh, two consensus. Uh, one consensus is used exactly for operations that require global consensus, such as access rights changes for groups. Uh, it can also be used for some space machinery if it's space wants an economic engine or it wants some governance uh, mechanism. But the space also has a lo local space consensus, and this consensus is based on conflict-free uh, replicated data types. So each device actually arrives on uh, at, uh, this consensus independently and doesn't need to connect to the network uh, to make it happen. This kind of architecture combining local first uh, direct acyclic graph with blockchain allows us to have millions of uh, cryptographically signed transactions uh, per second enough to host all social uh, networks uh, in the world. So in a way this makes uh, social, uh, social, so social uh, decentralized social possible. Currently, uh, any stack uh, supports half a million social spaces and two and a half uh, million uh, gasless uh, transactions uh, per second. It's a, it's a 14 times uh, growth uh, versus a year ago. And uh, we have achieved that uh, uh, because we launched uh, uh, any type. Any type you can think of uh, as a we call it a post-cloud social app, but it's uh, a communication and collaboration uh, platform that, uh, that aims to uh, blend functionalities of Notion and Discord and enable all of us uh, and uh, other creators to build uh, sovereign social spaces uh, without code. And now I want to show you uh, how it works if you haven't ever uh, used any type so far. So. Uh, Actually, you can think uh, you can think of any type uh, as a social and data wallet because uh, what uh, when you uh, when you create uh, your vault in any type, it's uh, based on uh, public key uh, crypt cryptography, and uh, this can be done uh, without the internet connection, and it means that there is no one in between uh, you and uh, uh, and your vault. Uh, no one can block you out of your account or decide that uh, deny uh, your entry. And uh, this part here uh, exactly represents all the spaces uh, in my world. So I have some uh, private space uh, where I'm thinking about uh, any type. Uh, I, I have some shared space, uh, uh, shared space with uh, my team members, uh, our big uh, wiki. Uh, space for uh, for the whole uh, team or could be a good example is uh, some uh, uh, one creator uh, is currently preparing uh, a space for Berlin so that others can uh, can explore uh, can explore the city and first I would like to just maybe uh, demo that uh, this is a fully decentralized and local first uh, application, but you can see it uh, kind of uh, uh, looks nice and uh, I can move uh, things easily here. It's a uh, blog based editor with, uh, you, I can just here um, 
choose from lots of uh, different blogs, from uh, pictures and texts and uh, em embeds and uh, other things. And then uh, I would be able to create, you see, um, the spaces uh, without uh, the spaces uh, without code. Uh, there are you, I can create uh, objects uh, uh, like databases or uh, objects uh, like their articles or um, using a blog uh, blog based editor. The coolest part is that if I uh, switch off uh, the Wi-Fi here, uh, nothing would really change for me. So I just, uh, there is no Wi-Fi, but uh, everything would be uh, working as, uh, as, uh, as if I have Wi-Fi or not. This, I, I won't ever feel it. And uh, another great part of it is also, of course, the speed uh, with which you interact with software because there is no ping uh, to, uh, to the server. The, to the, you also have nodes that store your uh, backup, but these nodes work, they are optional. Uh, if we use them because they are always in this local first environments, uh, offline, online problem, and uh, an always online peer would always help, but this, that peer is just completely, com completely uh, optional. Okay, now I will switch back, uh, probably the uh, the Wi-Fi and uh, what I want to try, oops, uh, what I want to try is I want to uh, maybe change something on my on my phone and uh, maybe we see it, uh, maybe it's gonna be uh, super fast. I will try find uh, any type on my phone now and uh, do something, do something. Uh, it's, it's, I can make it offline now. Uh, I don't, it's, uh, I don't know how to, uh, how to demo it because I, I'm on Wi-Fi, so you, you have done, so all the changes will be going through the Wi-Fi network. I don't know how to cut the internet at the moment from the, from this room, but if we would, uh, cut the internet, uh, it would still work. So uh, it's uh, the the connection now between uh, between uh, my uh, devices here uh, is uh, uh, doesn't need uh, the connection uh, to the network. So let me try to change something. Uh, maybe I can uh, just uh, maybe I can do something with style. Uh, maybe here, let's make it a call out. Yes, so. Uh, and I, I wish I could cut the internet so that we can experience uh, the no internet uh, option, but uh, uh, that's actually what is happening that uh, the devices are uh, connecting uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, through, through Wi-Fi. And uh, I also can ask my, uh, my co-founder uh, maybe to change something on the, from his uh, phone now and uh, I can, uh, he can, this will also happen for uh, many users. Uh, and uh, we'll see if, uh, uh, if that works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe, yeah. Well, yes, good, good. Next time I will do the demo like that. Thank you for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, for telling me how, uh, how to do it. What's cool is that every object has a, a version history. And uh, uh, he, I can uh, I can always uh, revert back. So all the changes here are uh, if something. So the, usually the conflict don't happen be, uh, because uh, you are editing different blocks. But sometimes uh, because the conflicts are resolved deterministically. Sometimes if you were in the same block, uh, maybe uh, it it wasn't resolved the way uh, you thought it should. So there is a nice. Uh, um, uh, version history that uh, shows all the changes uh, that uh, each uh, that each uh, each uh, person made. 
what uh, uh, can I uh, add here uh, is that currently any type is uh, uh, mostly used uh, by uh, individuals in small teams which see its full potential being realized in social use cases at a greater scale because it will allow communities and creators to create uh, really something that they digitally own and where uh, every, every change is cryptographically signed. So if it's a large community where everyone is contributing something, they have have this verified history of their contributions and they had maybe somehow used it with uh, some uh, mechanics of uh, uh, incentivizing, growing or uh, just governing based on uh, how much work and how much contribution each of them uh, added, uh, added to the space. So I, uh, I think the demo was uh, uh, was just showing that the interface for the local first privacy preserving and ownership uh, um, uh, ownership related software can be really I hope sleek and uh, beautiful and that uh, the the stack is already ready uh, to for for something like that because we, when we started five years five years ago I think we a little bit overestimated how long would it take. It <laughs> So we thought we will just uh, in one year we will have everything uh, working. It took uh, it took five years, but now I can conclude that this is finally working and uh, uh, and uh, uh, that the uh, that the tech stack is uh, is uh, is actually ready. I want just a little bit to conclude uh, that. Um, we have grown to 85,000 uh, people uh, last uh, last month with uh, almost 15,000 uh, daily active uh, users and uh, that uh, we see this full potential to be re realized in social use cases at a uh, greater scale. And uh, if uh, anyone is interested in the, uh, in the stack of protocols that we use and have some other ideas for the decentralized social, because as I said, the direct acyclic graph can look differently and we have realized it in uh, the AnyType app as uh, we think is useful for others. But if you have some other ideas, maybe uh, maybe you can, uh, maybe you maybe it's the stack that you need if you're building an encrypted local, f if you envision something, some net network uh, for encrypted uh, use cases, this can be a stack that is scalable, is fast uh, and uh, creators owned. Thank you.